Well, the defense is now making its case in the corruption trial for Norfolk City Treasurer Anthony Burfoot. The prosecution called its final witness today. Burfoot's attorney called Severa, former and current city leaders, to testify. Sit on your side has been covering this case in the trial from the beginning. Burfoot is accused of taking bribes and kickbacks in exchange for favors on city council. Sit on your side, Jason Marks, is today's courtroom developments from outside the Norfolk Federal Courthouse. Jason. Well, Laura, the defense got the case this afternoon, and as you mentioned, Andy Sachs, Anthony Burfoot's attorney, has paraded in either former council members or current council members, one after the other. And what they're asking him is if they took any bribes from anyone other than uh, hold on, let me let me start over here. So what's happening is is that council members are coming in, and what Andrew Sachs is asking these uh, council members is that if Anthony Burfoot came to them wanting any favors for Ty Vest or for um, Ronnie Boone or for Tommy Arney. And all the council members say the answer is no. Now, we heard from Mayor Paul Frame. He was the first one for the defense to take the stand and other council members. We also heard from former council member, State Delegate Don Hester and current councilwoman Angela Williams Graves. Now, Graves did talk about how she would see Dwight Etheridge and Anthony Burfoot together all the time, even called them the Bobsy twins. But didn't see them together after the big Midtown Office Tower project fell through. Mayor Frame said he didn't think Burfoot was doing anything wrong, though the prosecution showed him evidence in court about gifts he had taken before some of the big votes in, in, involving Dwight Etheridge. Frame says Burfoot should have abstained from voting in those cases. Now, prosecutors even brought up a time where there was a vote on a property owned by Ronnie Boone, and the mayor said he abstained for that vote because he had a law firm that represented Boone in the past. So there were votes that were abstained during some of these controversial votes. Now, uh, the defense took over today. They're expected to go for another week. We are expecting to hear some very familiar names that we've heard throughout this case, including Stephen Fields. He worked for the Bank of the Commonwealth, and he was uh, convicted here in federal court for his part of that fraud case. Uh, Tammy Sansbury, the mother of Anthony Burfoot's two children, she was brought up and up a lot. And also Keith McNair, he is Anthony Burfoot's close friend who works in the city treasurer's office. They have been seen a lot. Keith McNair's name has been brought up through one prosecution witness after another. So we do expect to see them over the next couple weeks. Now I'm going to jump back in the courtroom. I will have an update for you coming up at 530. For now, that's the latest here at Norfolk Federal Court. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.